about motivation. Uh, this is a motivational talk, and let's see what he has to say. Mr. Asad Rafi is head of uh, corporate social responsibility at SI3. Uh, the rest of the introduction, he will do it himself, and let's see what he has to tell us. So, over to Mr. Asad Rafi. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Asad Rafi, yes. and I'm working in uh, SIP, which is an IT company. I'm doing CSR work, which is known as Corporate Social Responsibility. And I have uh, been giving motivation talk for the past couple of years. So I'm uh, very thankful to Mr. Hussain for inviting me over. And I must say that uh, it is one of the most wheelchair friendly offices that I have seen in Pakistan. So, uh, before I go on to motivation, let me tell you briefly about uh, a bit of my life story as to how I uh, came into a wheelchair. It happened during the end of my schooling, schooling career when I was about to do my A-levels, I felt like I was falling down a lot and I was pretty clumsy and uh, could not tell, keep my balance. So I was diagnosed by a doctor at that time who told me that I had a disease which is known as Frederick's headaches. It is a very rare disease in Pakistan. Uh, it is mostly got to do with the weakening of your lower limbs, your lower muscles. They get very weak and uh, for about, uh, I would say about uh, a year. six months to a year, I was having a lot of problem walking. Ultimately, the doctor, he told me to transfer into a wheelchair which uh, obviously it was very uh, frustrating for me at that time to take it, to get transferred to wheelchair because all my lives and uh, ambitions and all my dreams I had at uh, the time when I was going to school, they were all uh, shattered and at that time I felt as if uh, my life had come to a standstill, it had come to an end. So, but over the years I, in the beginning it felt like uh, this wheelchair, this was like a prison for me because it uh, confined me from where I wanted to go and what I wanted to do. So it took a lot of uh, comforting from the doctors to tell me about the advantages of being in a wheelchair. But uh, I would say that over the years, number one would be never to give up in life, which uh, I have also learned from my uh, inspirations which I have, which I will uh, talk about to you a little later on. Number two would be to all to have complete faith in God, which is a very important part of my life, having complete faith in God and always to, uh, you know, ask for God's help in whatever uh, situation I am. And lastly, the most uh, important one for me would be to always uh, believe in my abilities which has led to my giving these motivation talks because I can tell you that uh, during the time of my going to school I was a very uh, shy person and I was even afraid to ask the teacher a question or the anything for that matter. So 
they are really being to greatly being the belief in my ability in which I led to my giving these talks like I am giving today. So, like, uh, I would say these three things have played a very important role and because it is very important to be positive when you are uh, faced with an obstacle in life like I am. And so, uh, and there are also a few activities which I do which uh, help me keep myself positive. And the first thing for be swimming because a lot of people they get surprised when I tell them that I do swimming but let me tell you that I have been swimming for the past 15 to 20 years and I have had no problem at all while swimming because swimming in fact gives me the chance to move freely which I am not able to do being in a as I am confined to a special, specific place. But swimming gives me the ability to move freely. And when I see other 